Welcome to Weld.com. My name is Paul Sobluski. I'm one of the new hosts here. I have 30 plus years experience that I'm excited to bring to the table. I want to talk a little bit about my experience. I have 30 plus years experience in the trade. Um, I work for a lot of big companies all over the world. Uh, Bechtel, Raytheon, uh, Brown and Root. Um, I participated in the uh, Hobart Welding Olympics and had fun doing that. Also, I've done a lot of special projects for a lot of, a lot of these companies I work for and enjoyed it. So today we're going to talk about a little bit of educational things about taking a plasmark and putting a bevel on this, this uh, stainless steel plate. We're going to go ahead and use this 3M respirator. Well, we're going to use a few things to prep. You know, they make special cutting discs, stainless cutting discs just for stainless. And it works, they work very well. Just, just like a, a, a tiger paw and a grinding disc that Weiler makes just for stainless. We'll talk a little bit about cross-contamination. You know, a lot of people, they'll take a grinding disc and they'll grind on carbon and then they'll take it, the same, the same disc and start grinding on a piece of stainless. That's a, that's a big no-no. That's where they call what we call cross-contamination. That's why the, the stainless will rust. So if you use a stainless disc on stainless, you want to keep that disc just for that stainless. That way you have to deal with the cross-contamination. We have a, a stainless steel plate, three or four stainless. We're gonna take the plasmark and we're gonna, we're gonna put a bevel on it. And then we're gonna clean it up with a grinder, cut it in half and make a coupon. So it'll be a AWS 1.6 code, 2G stainless steel 3 8 open butt coupon. So that's where we'll start. After I get this all cut up and cleaned up, I'll tack up the coupon and put it in the stand. Plasma cutter is a really nice little device. It's a thermodynamics by ESOB, and it's a Cutmaster 40. And you could use this right, right in your backyard or your, your garage that you're in your house. That works very good. I used a piece of angle to go across the plate for a guide to make, you know, to, to help steady my hand to make the, the cut real nice and neat and straight. So anything you can use, clamp on, you know, your, you know, your material to use for a cutting guide works very well. Plus, there's multiple ways you can bevel. You know, uh, oxy fuel, but not with stainless. You, don't, you, you can only do it with a grinder or a plasma cutter on stainless, as well as aluminum. That's the same too, is plasma cutting. Either a grinder or a plasma cutter. The only thing you use oxy fuel on is uh, steel. So what we've done here, we took the plasmark, put a nice little bevel on it here, and what we'll do next, we'll take the take the grinder and put a nice, nice finished bevel on it, and then hit it with a tiger paw, a Wilder tiger paw, and really polish it, and then we'll cut it in half and use and use both pieces for the coupon that we're going to weld on. As you've seen before, the flat bar that I beveled, well, I, I ground it, prepped it, prepped it up real nice for a coupon, and, and this is your this is your product that you get. I tacked it up. And, you know, everything's real nice and shiny, perfect bevels. Everything looks good, it's, it's ready to put the root in. So we'll talk about a little bit about the uh, base metal and then the filler metal that we used. Um, the base metal is 304L, which is good material. And then what we used for uh, filler material was 332, uh, 308L filler wire, bowler of course, for the TIG root. Then we moved on to the stick and we used um, one eighth a little bit big, which I made it work, but I'd rather use 332. That's 308L Bowler product too. For the cap, we used MIG, which was a 308L SI 035 wire. We're gonna use a Rebel 285 multiprocessor. And what we'll do is we set it on a lift arc TIG, and I got it set on 120, which is good heat. It's a little warm, which I like. I ran the root in this plate. Everything come out really good. It's got good color, you know, blue and gold color. Um, everything went well with it. And what we're gonna do with it, we're gonna do uh, probably two more processes. We'll probably put some stick in it and then cap it with a MIG just to show different processes and how you can do it on stainless. 
And um, as you've seen in the, in the video, my technique, I'm freehanding it instead of walking the cup. Sometimes I feel more comfortable, you know, freehanding it. Or it depends, you know, I'll walk the cup. It, it really depends on, you know, the height and the, you know, the thickness and everything to me. So it, it depends on, you know, how I, how I feel, how I want to put the root in. It's a three process, uh, three proce multi process that we're going to use. It's uh, tig tig root, stick filler, and then a mig cap. So as you can see, that we've already did the tig root, and we're going to move on to the stick. The stick's a little tricky. Some people, you know, especially with stainless, you got to know how to run it, and um, you know, you got to manipulate it a little bit. It just doesn't run like a 7018. And we're going to move on next about our safety features. You know, use a respirator for the fumes and the smoke. And we're gonna use this fume distractor right here. So that'll, you know, dissipate the smoke. We ran two passes of stick in this 1A lock, 1A stick, stick rod, which is a little bit big, but it'll work. I'd rather have 332, but 1 8 works. So we ran a bottom pass, it's come out really nice. And we cleaned it up and then ran the second pass on the top. So like I was saying before, it doesn't run anything like 7018. Stainless, you have to manipulate it, move it up and down a little bit, and watch your puddle. But it come out pretty nice. So what I'll do is I'll take the grinder now and I'll, and I'll touch these couple little spots and then we'll proceed with the third process, which will be MIG. I took the grinder and ground a little groove in it to make sure I get my first pass straight and cleaned it up real nice. It come out good. What I really want to talk about too is the settings on my stick, I ran it about 93 amps. So give or take, everybody's a little bit different about how, how they like their heat, cold or hot. I ran mine on 93. I mean, MIG's a lot faster than the stick and the TIG, especially when it comes to plate work. So that'd be your more efficient uh, well or process. I like to clean every pass as I go from the first, second, and the third. I like to clean them real good, even with the MIG or TIG, I like to wire brush it to make it look good and clean. Cause I think it runs a little bit better, you know, when you keep it clean. For all you viewers, hopefully this was educational to you. Thanks for joining us today. Hit that like button and subscribe to well.com. See you on the next one.